Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, as always, I ask you to help me as I record your words. Please depray the word I speak on your behalf in your precious blood so that they reach the hearts and minds of all those you wish to communicate with. I ask this of the Father in your name, Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome everybody. Um, this is entitled Jesus and the Prayer Warrior and from the previous video, I, I hope you've listened to it, the Prayer Warrior was revealed to be Saint Gabriel himself and Jesus, um, chronologically, this was given before the previous message so I'm sorry I kind of jumped the gun. Um, anyways, um, Jesus says basically in here um, why he was giving the Prayer Warrior to my friend and, uh, and uh, how some of us um, are given prayer warriors on top, usually just the very holy people, so that would exclude me, but maybe include you, um, the visionaries um, and the, uh, the watchmen and people that are really attacked by the evil one because of their holiness and their ability to bring many to Christ. So once again, that excludes me, but um, I'm sure my guardian angel does a darn good job. Um, and uh, okay, I'll I'll begin. Okay, here we go. Note: I'm about to say my morning prayers, and the prayer warrior comes and places his right hand on my shoulder. I question mentally why he is suddenly always there, especially when I am about to pray or already praying. He has been beside me on and off for about a month. Then Jesus suddenly appears, and Jesus speaks to us. He is here first of all to help you return to your way of prayer. You are allowing the channels through which I reach you to become blocked by letting extraneous things fill those channels, by allowing yourself to be steeped in the affairs around you, some of which should be ignored, even in part, and left for me to deal with. You cannot deal with it all by yourself. And then my friend says in brackets, I know what is meant by this. And Jesus continues, Stop bringing problems to me and then taking them back. About the prayer warrior at your side, the gloves well, he, because he has, um, um, she sees boxing gloves around his neck. And um, she said that in an earlier message. So she explains, Jesus explains why those boxing gloves are around his neck, symbolically or whatever, but here it goes. Uh, about the prayer warrior at your side, the gloves, the boxing gloves, are to denote his status. He boxes or fends off whatever may be attacking you in thought, physically or otherwise. There are times when even a guardian angel needs special support, times when a soul is under a special attack, as you have been for a while. You see who is sent, others do not, but it is so with many. This means that many have the assistance of prayer warriors when it is necessary. Note, the prayer warrior is smiling. He is always smiling gently. This is a long message, so I hope I don't get knocked off, but I'll continue. Jesus continues, this is what you need to know, um, this is what you need now, someone around you who smiles and can encourage you to do the same. You will learn his name when you least expect it, as I've, I mean, this is John D. talking now, not Jesus. Um, I've already revealed to you uh, that a few messages down the line, I, because I haven't done these in chronological order, it, it was revealed that uh, the prayer warrior is St. Gabriel. And Jesus continues, There is a reason for this. Note, the prayer warrior looks pleased because of what is being said. And my friend says, Where is my guardian angel? I do not see him. And Jesus says, He is there. He is always there, whether you see him or not. The warrior is here to help, not to take his place. And my friend says to Jesus, Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Um, and then she says, The words from the 22nd Psalm suddenly impressed themselves upon my mind. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And now the prayer warrior speaks for the first time ever. And he says to my friend, Write. Those who vacillate do damage to themselves. Do not encourage yourself in this situation. Whatever happens, continue to proclaim God's mercy, your hope in His goodness, your love of the heavenly bodies, your trust in God's helpers, His angels and others. Continue to proclaim your reliance, your reliance on Him, um, 
closeness with Jesus and his blessed mother and his father upon the earth, St. Joseph, continue to proclaim the graces you have received, your personal relationship with heaven as it was, as it is, and as it can continue to be so long as you keep the faith with those who know no other way but to keep faith with those who trust them. So long as you remember these things, your reliance upon heaven will remain secure. Your reliance upon heaven will see you through. Reliance upon heaven is the fuel upon which faith is strengthened, the fuel upon which it, faith, runs, the fuel upon which it feeds. And my friend says to, her, um, to the prayer warrior, St. Gabriel, thank you, prayer warrior. The prayer warrior continues, your theme should be, I rely upon guidance from heaven in all things. Upon heaven, that is upon God the Eternal Father, through Jesus Christ, his blessed mother, the second great intercessor for souls, upon her spouse, the privileged one, as in St. Joseph. They are known in heaven as Mary, the chosen one. Joseph, her spouse, is the privileged one. The greatest intercessor is the son. The second greatest intercessor is the mother. The privileged one, St. Joseph, intercedes with them both as acknowledgement of their greatness, although he can intercede with the father himself. He turns to them, as in Jesus and Mary first, as his act of obeisance. And then here's a Bible quote. Why art thou sad, O my soul? Why art thou cast down, disquiet, within me? I will yet hope in God, who is the light of my countenance. And that was quoted from Psalm 41, 6. And then the prayer warrior continues to speak to us and to my friend. You are familiar enough with this quotation from Holy Scripture. Why do you not use it more often? For the light of God to shine upon your countenance, you must be looking up to heaven. Otherwise, it could not shine upon your countenance if, if you were looking down, with bowed head to the ground, away from the light of heaven. This is what the evil one wants, that men would look down, saddened to the ground where, where his feet are. Instead, looking up to see the feet of God and aspiring to see his face when the right time comes. His, God's, light upon your countenance blinds the ungodly, for from your face will be reflected the radiance of God. You will become, as it were, a mirror which reflects the light of God. Look then to heaven and, and pray for those who are not doing so. Help them when you can. What I say here is for all, not just for you, as you are aware. So be it. Many of the faithful help in this without a breakdown of explanations. Many accept this with the gift of knowledge acquired through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Many others do not think of the meaning of the words, but accept with a simple faith and through the grace of God reap benefits. Pray for those who do not care to hear or accept the words of the Holy Scripture. Write, I am the way, the life, the light. Look to the light. Uh, and you will never be lost in any kind of darkness, whether of mind, of heart, of spirit, or soul. For light pierces the darkness. Who is the light of the world? Jesus. Tell those who sit in the darkness of worldly mores only to seek him, and let the light of his countenance shine upon them. Their darkness will be lightened. They will gain enlightenment, so be it. Those who lift up their eyes to heaven, and, and you cannot do this without lifting your head and your face to heaven, will gain greater enlightenment. I have waited long to say this. You acknowledge my presence, you accept it, but do not allow yourself to be su sufficiently approachable for me to give this instruction until Christ himself spoke to you about me. So this is, once again, the prayer warrior, St. Gabriel, speaking for the first time to my friend, and he said, you're closing yourself up. I've been trying to communicate with you and has waited till now until Jesus finally you opened up the channels of communication. Thank goodness. Uh, this is good. It is as well that you waited for direct heavenly guidance. So be it. I stay with you for a little while yet for God is merciful. Thank him for his mercies. Praise be to God, the eternal Father, and to his Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. Believe in the Christ, the one sent from heaven to redeem mankind. And then my friend speaks, Praise to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven, for your mercies to a worm like me. I thank you and I praise your holy name. Amen. Thank you, prayer warrior. Thanks be to God. 
And I pray, I beg God, that we be enlightened by these holy words of St. Gabriel and of Jesus. I ask this of the Father in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.